Okay, so this is my post game Penn State, Ohio State recap. Uh, am I like dreaming or something? Because in a, in a million years, I would have never thought that Penn State would have beat Ohio State. That was a crazy game on a crazy day, and I'm just really and I'm just really happy for this team because. They they showed so much heart, so much passion, you know, and they really deserve to go in. You you can say what you want, okay? You can say Ohio State got a hundred more yards than Penn State. They did this, they did that, but overall, Penn State's defense did enough to win. They held them up. They did a good. They did a well enough job to um only hold Ohio. They held Ohio State to twenty one points. I told you, if Penn State's defense couldn't hold Ohio State's offense, this game wouldn't be close because Penn State's offense has a hard time in games against good teams. What They can score 30-plus points on Maryland, Temple, Kent State. They even scored 30 on Pitt, so 39. But when you get into a game where you're playing a top-10 team, Penn State's offense doesn't show up. They, they didn't really even get 24 points. They got, like... They they got the kick return touchdown and then they got the block punt which gave them three basically so they got four they got like seventeen earned points okay we'll just say that but it, it was a good win and this team shed a lot of heart and I like it you know last year they would have lost this game and they would have lost the Minnesota game too um I never thought that Penn State would beat Ohio State. I the, the, I had a gut feeling the day of. I'm like, this might be the day that Penn State wins. But did I ever actually think Penn State was going to win the game? No, not until Penn State was actually winning the game. Um, and Penn State was down all game. They they, they only had the lead in, with four minutes left. And I'm thinking, okay, this will be a good story. I'm like, yeah, Penn State's got the momentum. But Ohio State still... It, JT Barrett's a great QB, and he can easily lead this team down. They got a couple. They converted twice on third downs, and then Penn State got two sacks to end the game and win it, and that was the game right there. Just such a weird game. I I didn't post this video last night. I wanted to go to bed. It was like 12.30 by the time um, I went to bed. I was just so... I just can't believe it. I I've been looking every game every year. I I look at Penn State and I try to see them beat Ohio State, but it never happens. Like 2014, they were so close, and I'm like, okay, this will be a good one where everybody can be all swell and happy, but we still lose. So it's a moral victory, and Franklin doesn't get a signature win. But this was just. I still feel like I'm in a dream and I'm going to wake up tomorrow and they're going to be like, wait, you thought Penn State would win? Are you crazy? You know, something like that. But it, it's just crazy because you go, oh, well, Penn State's 5-2. and two. Does it really matter? Y y yeah, it does. It does matter because Penn State just knocked off Ohio State. And the truth of the matter is what seemed like a very bumpy road this this team, people when they lost to Michigan, they they were saying that Penn State could have probably end up being two and five, easily. Um, and guess what? Now we're five and two. Um, so Penn State looked pretty good today. Um, I mean, like if they played this, what like like if they played like this against any other team, I wouldn't be that happy. But since it was Ohio State, you gotta be happy about it. You know, like if they played like this against like. But if they play like how they did tonight, they're going to win out. Um, and Penn State doesn't have a real tough schedule um, for the rest of the year. They got Purdue and Rutgers. Um, Michigan State, who they lost to Maryland badly. Well, not badly, but like 11 points. Um, Purdue isn't real great. But Purdue will hang with you. Same um, Rutgers. They'll, um, Rutgers should be a win. Um, 
And then Indiana and Mich and Iowa are games that are Penn State's got to work for, I think, a little more than the others where it'll be a little bit more of a toss-up game. But I think they can get one of them. I think Penn State might be able to get a nine-win season now because they beat Ohio State. I, I was saying seven to eight. Now I'm thinking they're, they're going to go eight to nine. And there's a possibility that this team can win out, but I just don't think they will. Um, uh, but this is what this was a big win because – then you go, oh, well, you know, this team, they could be 6-1 and one and be number, like, 17. But this team's won some close games. And I say you learn from your mistakes. That Pitt game, they said, oh, well, McSorley will, will, will remember that pass, and he won't make that mistake. Guess what? It's helped him. Because against Minnesota, he led Penn State down to tie that game up, and he was in control in overtime. And tonight... Well, last night against Ohio State, he didn't make any mistakes. He 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 was far from perfect. He was eight for twenty three, but that's because the receiving game, um, the the receivers weren't. They had a hard time getting open. It was a rainy, wet night. Um, McShirley did a good job getting out of it. The offensive line, um, you can say it was good, but I don't think it was very good. McShirley was under a, a good amount of pressure. Uh, but that's because Ohio State has one of the best defensive lines in the nation. And Penn State's offensive line's not the best. We'll just, we'll just say that still. They're they're about average to a little bit below still. But they've done their job, and McSorley can scramble out. He had more carries than Barkley did. I don't know what was up with that, because this team... Should have built it on Barkley, but McShorley was under a lot of like plays where he would go back in the pocket and then he would just scramble out, and that would turn out to be he would have to go run it to um he would have to run it to get any yardage, and there were times with that he did. Um, he looked pretty poised. There, and there were like five, six throws where he just threw it out of bounds because nobody was open. He had to eat some balls. Um, but the passes that he made, they, he had some deep passes. Um, Godwin, even though Godwin only had 40 yards, I know Godwin hasn't had the year that he wanted to so far. Um, but Penn State, you have to realize that last year Penn State, you know, Godwin was like their only real receiver. DeAndre Tompkins was a freshman. He was more of like a like a Darren Sproles kind of guy a little bit. Now he's more of a receiver. Um and um it was basically Godwin and Hamilton cuz you would have Geno Lewis a little bit who wasn't that great, more of a possession receiver. They didn't use him too much and Blacknall, you would occasionally throw to him. Now they got Tompkins, you got Gesicki, Hamilton, Godwin, and Blacknall. So you got a bigger option. And guess what? Guess what? They're all coming back next year. So that's the good news about Penn State. They're a young team, and they look pretty good. Um, but I don't know how much to make of this because Penn State's got to show up against Purdue. Purdue plays teams pretty close. They only, they only lost to Nebraska by 13. Now, Nebraska doesn't put teams away that, that badly. Um... But it's an away game, and Purdue will um, want to win one, I think. And Purdue's not a bad team. They have one conference win. They beat Illinois by three. They got murdered by Maryland, a team that got murdered by Penn State. So if you go by that relative score, Penn State wins by, like, 85. But now um, I think Penn State will probably be able to handle Purdue 10-14 with like about a 10, 14 point favorite. I think that'll probably be a good prediction for me, but I don't, I'm not going to make a prediction yet. I want to see, um, I want to see what Purdue's strength and weaknesses are and what people are thinking, but, um, it's Purdue week. Uh, Penn State can clinch bowl eligibility and I hope they can. Uh, so that's a wrap for this video. What a win for Penn State. You gotta love it. Peace out.